Hi guys, this is uh, slide 10. It's a tendon, and so we are going to be looking at regular dense connective tissue. Okay, so this is, in fact, our regular dense connective tissue. I've already got us at 400 times magnification, so we can see it as clearly as possible. Um, so the pink fibers that you can see here, these are collagenous fibers. They are oriented in a nice, even, parallel fashion, which is characteristic of regular dense connective tissue, as opposed to our irregular dense connective tissue where you have that random arrangement of the collagenous fibers. Okay. Um, the nuclei that you see here are belonging to the fibroblasts, which produce the fibers in our dense connective tissue. And I will just mention that I often uh, find that students confuse regular dense connective tissue with smooth muscle. And I can understand why. They do look similar. But one tip I like to give everyone is that the nuclei, as you can see here, uh, in regular dense connective tissue tend to uh, sometimes occur in sets of twos or threes. So you can see here, there's three in a row. And if you look down below, there's two in a row. Here's another instance where there's two or three in a row. Uh, this is characteristic of regular dense connective tissue as opposed to uh, the smooth muscle where you would not see that type of orientation to the nuclei, okay? So just a tip to help you tell them apart. All right, so that's it for slide 10. We've got regular dense connective tissue. The pink is obviously our collagenous fibers and the nuclei belong to the fibroblasts.